Hello and welcome to the War and Peace in the Pacific International Initiative. Our top stories tonight are about War and Peace in the Pacific. The date is February 23rd, 1942. It's seven weeks since the Japanese attack of Pearl Harbor. And that's when life changed. I can see the planes. I can hear the bombing. It's a day Mr. Jimmy Lee will never forget. Whenever I play this sad and beautiful song, I always remember that the dread of wars and the importance of peace. Our students have spent weeks looking through newspaper clippings, visiting museums, and scrolling through hundreds of websites. And then there were groups that were dedicated to photos and interviews and, and going to locations and talking to people. When there was an air raid warning, we had to shut all the lights off in our building or our home. They had bombed Darwin, they had bombed Pearl Harbor, but Sydney, no, that was never expected. They were told to burn the buildings and burn any crops. The castle was wired to blow. The attack on Sydney Harbour by Japanese submarines last May was a complete flop. I felt this connection to history that I'd never really been able to experience. As the family on the earth, we should promote the everlasting world peace. My favorite part of this was, uh, I guess, really looking into museums around us. So this project was really uh, helpful for me because I learned about it in 10th grade, but now I really got a better understanding of it. Bombs that attacked the city? Fields was the fear. It was the dive bombing that caused Japanese attack on the West Coast. US and Japan have entered the battle. This and is a site of P-Day. Throughout the process of this project, we were all split into groups. And uh, I was really excited when we found out we were going to do this project. Going to the American Military Museum. Having everyone work as one team. To tell the little known history on the attacks along Australia's east coast. And we'd like to thank the museum for letting us partake in this. Our countries fought, but we overcame that tragedy together. Now we are friends. We can make the peaceful world together. The effects of the war still ripple through the modern day a true highlight of man's cruelty towards itself. 